lightly mown carpet-like fairways are mighty pretty to look at. But as Don Herder points out in his breaking 190-80 story in Golf Digest, they can also produce some really scary lies, especially if you've got a shallow-faced, wide-bodied hybrid of fairway wood in your hands. I mean, looking at this shot right here, it seems impossible that I'm going to be able to get this ball up in the air with this club from this kind of a lie. And it's that illusion, that fear that creeps in, that makes people do strange things with this shot when they're faced with it. Most of the time what happens is that people end up trying to go after the ball more through impact. And when they do, they end up coming up on their toes and sort of falling forward toward the ball through impact. That leads to bad results every time. Top shots, hosel rockets are not uncommon. So to combat this problem, Herder says that when you set up to this shot, you should take a different approach. Try to make sure that you stick out your behind a lot more than you normally would. And try to feel the weight more in the heels of your feet than under the balls of your feet. And then when you swing, try to maintain that posture. Do not rise up as you go down. Again, tight lies are nothing to be afraid of, especially not when you're hitting a fairway wood or a hybrid, because these clubs are designed specifically to get the ball up high in the air at impact. You really don't need to do anything to help make that happen. Just sit back, trust the shot, and swing away.